Now, I've been a carrier for 74 years. Now, I can't tell you how many years my father was a carrier or even maybe somebody before him. But I can say this much about it. I'm very upset with the medical community and other folks because there's been no awareness of this disease. There has to be a lot more awareness about the sickle cell trait. It's the information must, must get out to people. For some reason, 74 years, no one ever told me that I could get cancer from the sickle cell trait. Just think of how many doctors I have seen. I've been all over the world. Been overseas, many countries. And I've been in the hospital overseas. I spent months in the hospital in Texas, right here in the United States in 1961. I laid up in the hospital for over three months, sick, having all kinds of pain, everything. Do you think they knew what was wrong with me? No, I was discharged. Nobody told me I had a sickle cell trait or that's what was causing my pain. They told me absolutely nothing. They just said, well, we can't find it. It must have been a muscle strain or something like this. Consequently, I've heard that from other doctors throughout my life. Not one of them, not one, let me reiterate, not one sat down and talked to me about this sickle cell trait, made me aware of the dangers, the things I could be passing on to my children, to my grandchildren, right on down the line. And what happened, my grandbaby gets sick, has all kinds of pain and everything, going to the doctor back and forth but nobody picks up the sickle cell trait is creating that. Since they are aware that she had this trait, to me, doctors should have known that we need to do a better study. We need to know what creates this cancer because of the sickle cell trait. No one ever mentioned it to me. I wasn't aware of a cancer. 74 years old, my first time I ever heard about this, when my granddaughter gets sick and she passes from this sickle cell trait, it's a cancer, detected at stage four. You might as well be honest, she was practically dead by the time they found it. There was no excuse for that. I lived here 74 years, all my doctors, not one of them sat me down and talked to me about this trait or told me it was deadly. It was a big shock to me. It's a shock to other people. My, after journey, my grandbaby passed from this sickle cell trait and the RMC, the cancer that's created, my daughter gets a call from a lady. She's 42 years old. She's been going in and out of the hospital for six months. So she calls her and talks to her about it. She goes back to her doctor and says, well, could you check me for my, I have a sickle cell trait. Could you check and see if maybe I have cancer? I'm aware of this young lady that just passed and she had cancer from the sickle cell trait. The doctor checked her. Guess what? The next day they took a kidney out. That is ridiculous. That is fair. That, that, she should have been aware of this many years ago. A lot of us should have been aware of it. Unfortunately, doctors do not come forth with the information about RMC or the sickle cell trait. I wonder how many of them have the knowledge. If I have a disease, it's connected to something that you're studying on a university level, and I call you and ask you about it, and you say, what? What is that? Something's wrong. Something is wrong. We have to find a way to make people more aware of this sickle cell tree, trait, of the cancer it causes, how it brings a lot of pain to people. And it's real simple. I can recall the pain I had through life, all caused from a sickle cell tree that I knew nothing about. And obviously my doctors knew nothing about it because they didn't tell me why I was having the pain. I just kept having it. It hurt me when I was playing sports in school, in high school. Sometimes I've been over on the court in pain. I mean, I couldn't hardly move when I have so much pain. I go to the doctor, they say, well, you got a muscle strain. All the time, I had a sickle cell trait that was creating these problems for me. So I think what we need to do, awareness is the key as far as I'm concerned to this disease. Just like CDC puts out information, the Zika virus, everything else that happens, we hear about it continuously. We make people aware of it. So people can go check themselves out and find out, do I have this disease? Is there a possibility? If you're feeling pain in your stomach, if you're exercising, if you're running, if you're jumping rope, as my granddaughter did, and you start feeling all this pain, and you go to the doctor and the doctor says, oh, you might have a muscle strain. Well, if they had found this RMC the first year my grandbaby had it, she'd be alive today.
So there's no medical excuse for it. You know it's out there. Well, why don't you put the information out to the public, make us aware that you have a child with a sickle cell trait, she must be tested every year. Then I found out after the fact that older people can still get the cancer if they have the sickle cell trait. So you have to really be tested ever so often. For some reason, doctors are not making us aware of the sickle cell trait of what it, the pain that it causes and what you, uh, the type of exam that's needed. If a person having a lot of pain, they should be able to be checked for the sickle cell trait to see if that's the problem is causing it. Because if you find it early, you can beat it. You can be alive. You don't have to die with this. But that's why I refer to it as the hidden death because if you just wait until you're sick, you're already at stage, late stage three or early stage four which really means you're going to die. So they need to look for it. If they don't look for it, they're not going to find it. That's why you call it the hidden death. Please pass this information on to everybody you know. Talk to people. Ask people, have you been checked with a sickle cell trait? Do you have the trait? Or you have, if you're having a lot of pain, you may have the trait and not even be aware of it. Because if your parents, as my parents, never passed on to me, anything about the sickle cell trait. I found out about it after I spent months in the hospital. They didn't tell me the first three months I got discharged in the hospital. They didn't know what was wrong with me. So I go back to the hospital again. A new doctor's there. This doctor looks at me and he said, oh, you have a sickle cell trait. And I said, oh, what's that? You know, so I knew nothing about it until I was an adult. And then they found an accidentally in Texas. That wasn't the first doctor I've been to or the first exam I've had. I had it all my life growing up, as I said, pain, playing sports and what have you. So it's absolutely necessary that we get this in some way to get this information out to people so they can check with their young children, make certain, make certain that they don't have the sickle cell trait and make sure that they don't have RMC. So make sure if you do nothing else to have your child checked yearly to make certain that she's not getting ill from the sickle cell trait. It's very important, very important that we make everybody aware. Ask people, tell them, explain to them why you're after them, explain to them what the disease does, that it's a hidden death. And I say, and I keep using hidden death because I want something to reach out and grab people. I want you to look at this and read. When you see the hidden death, I want you to say, oh, what is this hidden death? I need to read this to find out. That's why I want that hashtag used, the hidden death. And I want you to get excited and read about it, find out about it, because you need to, not only for your health, for your children's health. I thank you.